In this series, we head to Boondocks Firearms Training Academy with trainers Chris and Michelle Serino. Chris and Michelle spend time in a training simulator, and we get an inside look into their mindset during some fast-paced, violent encounters. Holy crap. I'm scared. Hey! So I'm in my warehouse and somebody's in there that I don't think belongs there. So we're gonna see how we deal with it. Make sure my gun's put away. I'm walking in my place. I don't expect anybody to be here. I'm probably gonna be caught off guard. I can't see anything. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey buddy. What are you doing in here? What are you doing? Hey, hey, what are you doing in here? I don't know why I'm standing with this gun in one hand, but you need to show me your other hand. Slowly. What are you doing? Congratulations, you busted the guy who f***ed here. Well, I have never seen you before. I have not seen... Hey, how about that hand? What are you... Hey. I'm the one in charge here. This is my place. Let's see your hand. Let's see your hand. Slowly. You want to see my idea, Yeah, I want to see it now. Do it, because I'm about to shoot you. Shouldn't have done it, buddy. Bad day for me, bad day for you. Dumbass. Jeez, now I gotta call the cops and tell them I shot a guy with a stapler. It's a good shot, too. Sometimes we make bad decisions, but this guy made a bad decision by not just listening to what I was telling him. He combat drew a stapler while I had a gun pointed at his chest. It's something I gotta live with, and we're gonna have to deal with it in the courts. Terrible. It's terrible. I mean, you expect me not to shoot him? That was fast. We see stuff like this all the time, and that's usually suicide by cop video right there. That's, but, but the only way you can combat that scenario and work against that scenario in your favor would be to create distance and get cover so that you have time to assess. But at the distances we are here, 15 feet, he's not listening to me, he's got a hidden hand, and he combat draws a stapler. There's only so much you can do. There probably wouldn't be anything with, wrong with backing all the way out the door of that facility right there. If I had him at gunpoint and he wasn't listening, I could just keep backing up, backing up, backing up until I get out the door and then call the police. You know, I'm kind of trapped in here, but uh, that's why training is so important because right now I'm thinking, geez, I could have backed all the way out of the building. I could have been talking that right through there, saying, hey, I'm out, I'm out of here. I, I mean, yeah, it's my building, but why not just keep walking? Yeah, so I shot a guy with a stapler. What, what do you say we... Uh what do you say, parking lot robbery? I like that for a two person. Oh. Hey, watch it out. It already started. Oh, shoot. Hey, what's up? What are you, uh, hey, what are you doing? Whoa. Oh, what do you need? All right, you can have my wallet. You can have my wallet. Honey, you should have shot him a long time ago. Why the hell didn't you shoot him while he was talking uh, to me? I don't know. He's pointing a gun at me. And I am completely unarmed. I couldn't go to my gun. He was obviously staring at me. I didn't. Why? Because of last time what we said about handing over. You should have just dusted him. If he realizes you got a gun out, his, his focus is going to change well, right to you. Well, it was on you. Yeah. I should have shot him. Yes. OK. I will next time. I would hope so. <laughs> I guess that whole discussion before about throwing the wallet. And Why would I throw the wallet? That... You already got the gun out. I don't need to distract him. Okay. Yeah, next time, just shoot him. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I can't get to my gun. I'm going to well, give him my wallet. I wasn't looking at you. I I'm just moving. had him in my sights. I did not look at you. Yeah, you had the element of surprise, obviously, because he was staring at me. You should have just shot him. Okay. If you give him a verbal command, what's he likely to do? Shoot. At who? Probably you, because he's going to change his focus and see the mm -hmm. gun. Yeah, he might just shoot me, but 
Mm. You gotta shoot him. Okay. Can we do that one again and make it happen, right? Sure. Okay. You're because ready? I could obviously couldn't get to my gun. I didn't look <clears throat> at you. I just got to my gun. Let's do that one again. Watch out, Get we got a in. creeper. Creeper coming up. Hey, what's up? Oh, shoot. Hey! I... <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. Do you notice how his eyes followed me? He followed me, he was more concerned Were about they? me because who's the bigger threat? You are. A man, woman? You are. The man right. is. Right, generally. But who was his worst threat today? It was me. Right, better. But he followed you. You can't see the eyes of me. Hmm? Yeah, no, the eyes don't move, so you can't tell what's going on. I can tell where the eyes are going. They weren't going there. They were following me. They were in, they follow me when I look at oh. it. I can you hear this. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes, Chris kept saying the eyes were following him, but the eyes look like they look He was I, pointed directly at me the whole time, wasn't he? He was looking straight at me. 